with some fun, fun, active stuff. So if you're sitting down, if you're sitting down, you gotta get up. So everybody get up and I want you to do this awesome dance with us to get moving, okay? So once again, if you're sitting down, tell them guys, say up, up, up. Up, up, up. All right, and here we go. Ready guys? You gotta do it with us, okay? Here we go, put your arms up. All right, and here we go. Ready? One, two, two three. Peel, peel banana. Peel, banana. Peel, 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 banana. Peel, banana. Peel, peel, banana. Ready? Go! Go, go, banana. Go, banana. Go, go, banana. All right, you ready for another one? Yeah! All right, here we go. Ready? Put your arms up. All right, this one's a potato. Ready? Peel, potato. Peel, peel, potato. Peel, potato. Peel, peel, potato. Ready? Mash, potato. Mash, mash, potatoes. Mash, potatoes. Mash, mash, potatoes. All right, here is the last one. Are you ready? This one is corn. Are you ready this time? Put your arms down here. Ready? Form the corn. Form, form the corn. Form the corn. Form, form the corn. Ready? exciting things so once again I want you to look all around you and tell everybody you see whether your week was good or whether it was bad so go on look all around you and tell whoever you're with I that I hope your week was good now tell me give me a thumbs up was it good yeah, yeah, I'm so happy that your week was good. And once again, I'm so happy you are here. So this whole month, we've been talking a lot about Jesus because this month is such a special month for Christians and so many great things have happened. And so the big element of the month that we've been talking about is how the risen King, the Son of God who reigns forever. Do that with your hands again, remember? Forever. And then we talked about, if you remember, that Jesus, who is the Son of God, has always been. Do that with your arms, ready? Always been. Jesus has always been and been around. And then last week we talked about how that Jesus, the risen King, is victorious over death. And remember when we heard the word victorious, we did our happy dance, yay, because Jesus, he rose from the grave in three days and that is victorious, that is awesome. And this week we have something just as exciting to share and our thing for this week is that the risen king jesus is preparing a forever home now do that with me ready forever home now i'm gonna put on something and i want you to think with miss rebecca think 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 what do you think i am okay let's see here you gotta have your safety light thingy on, if I can get it on, like this, okay. Um, you gotta have your glasses, your safety glasses, safety glasses, eh, I guess we don't need safety glasses. Then you need a hard hat, 
but I don't have a hard hat. All I've got is this really heavy duty army hat. Oh, maybe I should have put the mask on first. Let's see here. You got to put your mask on. Hopefully Mr. Adam didn't do anything crazy in this mask. I'm going to go like this so you can hear me, okay? Like this so you can hear me. Can you hear me? There we go. Alright, I got my helmet on and I got my drill ready and my hammer. Now what kind of person do you think I am? Any guesses? Come on, yell them out. A construction worker? You are so very correct. I've got the table saw and everything. And I'm going to take this mask off so you can hear me a little bit better, okay? Now, I'm going to keep the helmet on because it's pretty cool. Protect myself from bird poop that might fly through the air out here. All these ducks running around. All right, so I am a construction worker. And this is kind of like what I think about when I think about the big idea for today. That Jesus has gone on to prepare a forever home. Do that with your arms. Forever home. Jesus rose again that we talked about last week in three days. And then later he went on and rose again to the sky. Point way high to the sky. To prepare a home for you and for me. Just like construction workers or people we see working on things or preparing things for us here, like the houses you see behind us, they all started with somebody preparing them. And that's what Jesus has gone on to do for us. He rose again from the grave and now he's gone on to prepare a forever home for you and for me. And that is so important for us to know that he is out there working hard for you and for me. So point to everybody around you and say, Jesus is preparing a home for you and for me. And that's awesome. So remember that, your hard hat, remember that, that Jesus is preparing a home for you. Now, this week, you were also supposed to be memorizing the books of the, what'd you say? I didn't hear you. The books of the, oh, the Bible. Good job. Memorizing the books of the Bible and memorizing our memory verse. So let's look at our memory verse again. It's, and you can read it with me, okay? 1 Timothy 1, 17. Now, the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God be healed, uh, be honored and glory. <laughs> I forgot the words. I'm not doing very good. Bring honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Now remember what some of these words went, okay? Eternal meant that you're going to live to your arms forever. Immortal means that you cannot die. Shake your heads. You cannot die. Invisible means now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. I'm still here, but you can't see me, okay? Invisible. And remember, you are supposed to be trying to memorize this verse, and if you were one of my older friends, you're supposed to be writing down, what does this verse mean to me, and what does it say? And really start thinking. And don't forget, once you've memorized the books of the Bible, or memorized our verse don't forget to post it so we can give you a shout out for doing such a great job now guys we had such a great lesson today but i want to end with praying for you before you check out our challenge for this week because it's really cool okay so this week though i want us to pray and we're going to bow our heads i'm going to lose the hat there we go bow your heads close your eyes Hold your hands. We don't have to, but I want to get rid of all the distractions around me, okay? So bow your head and close your eyes and pray with Miss Rebecca, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for each one of these kids this week, Lord. Thank you for bringing them safely through another week. Thank you for letting them do their schoolwork and everything that they have to do, Lord. Thank you for keeping them safe and healthy. I pray that you will help them to know how special this month is for you and for us Christians. 
I pray that you will help them to uh, memorize the books of the Bible and their memory verse and to just keep studying the Word of God at home. Lord, I pray that you will keep them safe and healthy and help them to have a good week. And everybody said, Amen! All right, guys. So, listen very closely for what we're going to do next because it's going to be so awesome. All right, guys. We are so excited to be here to show you our very, very, very awesome challenge that we have this week. And it is so cool. So, guys, help me tell them. Ready? We are going to build a super cool, super big fort. And it is going to be so awesome. So all you have to do is gather everything you can find in your house and then build a super cool fort. All right? So now we're going to build ours. Who's ready to build a fort? Say me! Yeah! Come on, Jasper, show me your muscles. Let's build a fort. Ready? Who's ready to build a fort? Yeah! yeah. All right. Let's go fort building. Don't forget to have a great week. We love you. See you later. Bye.